Welcome to this week's episode of My Smart Tech TV. My name is Jess and I'm your host. And this week I'm joined by Greg Alcorn, who's the Director of Global Sales and Customer Success at Synetics. Welcome, Greg. Thank you very much, Jessica. A pleasure to be here. Now, I'm going to start off by introducing yourself. Tell us a bit about you. Okay. Well, uh, as you said, I'm a Director of Global Sales and Customer Success. Um, that sounds like a bit of a mouthful, but uh, <laughs> that means I get to work with customers all around the world. Um, uh, in different verticals and across different technologies and being able to provide uh, solutions, really trying to help them um, meet their security and operational needs. Uh, so I work in that security environment. And so we're doing a, a lot with software and technology to be able to help them either provide a better, better passenger experience or a better, um, uh, a, a better safety and security across the way they're doing. I've been doing that for about 20 years. I, I live in London and I originally come from Brisbane, Australia. Um, and I, I really love what I do. That customer success or customer service piece um, is a really important piece to me and, and what I do in the role that I have, being able to make sure that those solutions really meet what our customers are trying to achieve. It's not just about selling them some cool stuff or some cool technology and, and, and breaking ground, but it's about really making a difference to, to their business and their operations. And that's something I'm really passionate about. Okay, and tell me about Synetics. What do they do? So Synetics uh, is fundamentally a, a security um, and, and software company uh, that started around about 30 years ago, uh, a little bit over, and, and we really got into that environment about providing safety and security and for the world's most challenging environments, and whether that's physically or technology or operationally, how it really works. So whether that's on an, an oil rig on, off, offshore or whether that's in a a casino environment where there's thousands of cameras and, 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 and thousands of patrons moving in around, or whether that's in your city or, or your transport environment, where security is really fundamental to meet the needs of the safety of, of the people that are going through that environment. And Synetics does that by providing a software solution that they've worked and developed over many, many years, focused into these three verticals that uniquely meet the needs of those operators. So whether they're trying to be able to simply provide the surveillance and, and monitor the, the, uh, the patrons or the, the activity or provide security for the citizens going through your city or a better passive experience for your transport terminal. That's what Synetics is really about, helping to provide the right tools and software for those operators and those businesses to do what they do best and provide the services they need for their customers. Great. And you mentioned, obviously, a big part of that is that kind of that smart city piece. Uh, we're certainly hearing that term a lot at the moment. But what is a smart city? What does that actually mean? That's a really good question, right? What is a smart city? And I think a lot of people have a lot of different um, a lot of different feelings and a lot of different views about it. But at the, the hub, a, a smart city is a city that's really there to be able to help its citizens and help the tourists and help the people that are visiting in there to provide businesses and, and everyone moving through that a, a better experience, a more safer environment, um, an ability to be able to um, help businesses to thrive, help um, tourism to grow, help you to travel through the city a little bit easier and more comfortably and have a better experience and to do all of that with technology. And that usually starts with starting to integrate technology and understand the work in the flows and the makeup of that environment and how that technology can help those experiences go better. Right. And, and you're certainly seeing uh, lots of different technologies um, emerging. And I, I'm sure no doubt that every city is different in some capacity and what they might require. But are there any kind of universal technologies that every city, uh, every smart city should actually adopt when it comes to this? Yeah, I, I think so. I think I, I don't think it's it's too difficult in that sense. Any smart city starts by being safe, right? You, if you want a city and you want to encourage business, you want to encourage tourism, you need to be able to have a safe city. Um, so that's really sudden. And I think really a safe city was probably the early version of a smart city and smart city really started to expand it out. So that fundamental piece is being able to provide safety and security for the citizens of that, that town or that city or that borough, wherever it is. So I think that being able to put the right systems in place to be able to help those that city work and be safe and secure for people to be able to be there net then you can build on top of that the technology that enable that to be more interactive and 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 provide better experience and become really smart um in the environment right and you guys work um globally and with um, you know lots of different sort of stakeholders um from 
police to transport to all kinds of things. How are you, what kinds of uh, shifts are you seeing when it comes to mindset from these different sorts of groups? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, we do work in, in many places around the world. I'm in Berlin at the moment. Um, and right here, we're seeing a, a real big shift in, in transportation and the move to be able to get more collaborative between different operators. And I think that's a, a big thread globally uh, around the world at the moment. The, the interaction between um, different um, private and public organizations, the interaction between different public organizations, between transport operators and police and, and service providers and local authorities, and get all of that collaboration and interaction to be able to help provide the service. So all those people and those organizations that are trying to provide a service for, for um, citizens and tourists that are coming through and, and businesses, the collaboration that's going between them and the technology that's driving to be able to help them collaborate and communicate to look after the safety and also the experience for those people is certainly a massive change. Um, I think in the last couple of years, there's always been a desire. So for a long time before, there's always been a desire to do that. But in the last couple of years, technology, um, people are more comfortable with that and are more open to getting that collaboration going and the sharing of not data per se but the sharing of operational um, processes and procedures to be able to help each of each others to be able to provide a better service uh, for the citizens and the, and the tourists in that town. Absolutely. So it's certainly very exciting to see all the yeah all the advancements that are happening and and continuing to continuing to happen. Um, kind of just shifting gear, gears, I guess, and looking at the actual experience of the city goer. Um, you know, how are these technologies going to change people's lives and impact people's lives in the city? For me, I, I, I must admit personally, um, I'm I'm all for it. Right, the more more interaction and interoperability that we can possibly get. I you know I'm as I said, I'm in Berlin at the moment. Uh, I'm staying in a hotel. I, you know, you get me to the opportunity, I'm going to walk downstairs and it's going to pop up on my phone and say, hey, your favorite coffee shop, if you like a flat white, then the closest flat white is just around the corner and there's going to be a, a scooter waiting for me to be able to get on and go to my meeting and it's all interaction together. That's my dream, right? Um, but that's not everybody. Um, and I, the, the great thing about where technology is going at the moment is that it's a a, a place in which people can get involved as much as they want to. You don't need to be able to drive. My wife loves to pull out the map and walk around the city and you can still do that. Technology and smart city is not gonna take away that experience, but for those that um, are seeing it, and there's a lot that's happening under the ground that you're not noticing, that's just there to be able to improve and you're starting to see a safer place. You're starting to see a more cohesive place, you're starting to see less traffic, you're starting to see more services around transportation, as transportation is starting to move and adapt with how the city is evolving and how businesses are moving and it's tracking where what people are doing and where people are going to be able to make sure we're providing the right amount of um, trains and buses at the right time, that we're, we're monitoring and tracking um, traffic management systems to be able to make sure we can interact with that when we're getting loads of people and helping to be able to cross the road a little bit easier because there's more traffic coming out of the tube station at this time. All those tiny little things that most of the citizens don't see is all part of a smart city that you go through and, and you think about that when you travel to a different city and just say, hey, I didn't really feel that much traffic. I, I got out of the tube, I waited at that, at that stop for like two seconds and I was crossing the road and, and there was always a, you know, a taxi around and I could easily find um, the coffee shop or whatever it is. All of that comes together for that urban control and environment that they're trying to create and all fundamentally built together by technology. So it's that really nice experience. It's a lot of flexibility that you can dip in and out of it if you want more and you wanna be able to quickly find your e-scooter or your, your, your Starbucks or whatever it is. That's all comes together about linking these different systems and providing the right pieces of technology for the individual to experience. And, and you get a, a happier, um, a happier town, a, a more thriving business for the local economy that can get around and also um, citizens and tourists that can interact in the, in the one place, you know, still get the, the business and being able to get to, to work, uh, the baristas getting to their coffee shop and the tourists running down the street to see and experience that town. 
Mm, absolutely a real a much more seamless experience for um for people in the city and and you're right when it's when you don't notice things and they're done well that's when the real magic sort of happens as well so if I don't... really clear is that you do when the that piece that you don't notice and that's coming underneath and you just walk away with them and just say that was an enjoyable experience and I think yeah when that smart city and that technology did a great job Mm -hmm, absolutely well final question how do people find out more about synetics they want to get involved or um yeah find out more what's the kind of call to action um absolutely the, the quickest and easiest way to to get involved and get in touch with us is, is find us on the website um social media as well but jump onto the website reach out to us there's a, a load of um uh, collateral there you can start to take a look about what we're doing um in smart cities and in London and, and Berlin around transportation, around city surveillance and, and different technologies, how that all come together. So there's a whole load of business pieces. You can just look and see about what we're doing. But then, you know, drop us a note, um, reach out and grab some contact and get one of the team around the world to, to reach out and, and have a chat. We're just as excited to hear about what you're doing in, in smart cities and public space and with technology and hear about that. Uh, the passion of synetics is really understanding our customers and understanding those verticals. And if we can help provide you with some solutions that will do that, that's great. But if we can just have a conversation about what you're doing and how you're creating a, a smart city and a safe environment, that's just as exciting for us. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. And um, yeah, it sounds so interesting and definitely keen to, to read and find out more. No, thank you very much. It's a real pleasure. Great. Thanks. Thanks.